I'm Will O'Neill, Editor-in-Chief of Tech Radar, and today I'm here to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. When I first saw the 12-inch Galaxy Note Pro at CES, I thought it was kind of silly. The thing fell and is ridiculously large. Fast forward a couple of months, and my go-to tablet was the nearly phablet-sized iPad mini with retina display. Well, after finally getting my hands on a review unit and spending some quality time with the Galaxy Note Pro, I'm prepared to eat my words. This thing is pretty awesome. Prior to getting my hands on the Galaxy Note Pro, I was fond of saying that the iPad mini was the perfect size for a tablet. You can easily use it with one hand, and the size meant that it wasn't terribly obtrusive when multitasking. That's code for watching sports on TV while tracking fantasy stats with the tablet. The thing about smaller tablets, regardless of the OS they're running, is that they're limited to being just that, their tablets. The Galaxy Note Pro, however, feels like the perfect marriage of a tablet and an Ultrabook, sporting an improved Samsung UI. I like the fact that this is closer to stock Android than previous Samsung tablets. Of course, what makes the Galaxy Note Pro stand out is that enormous 12.2 inch display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. That amazing display is accompanied by some other rather impressive specs, including a custom 1.9 gigahertz quad core CPU, three gigs of RAM, the choice of either a 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte option, an eight megapixel camera, Samsung's S Pen and a micro SD slot. Anyway, I mentioned before that the Galaxy Note Pro feels like the perfect marriage between a more traditional tablet and a more utilitarian Ultrabook. The interesting thing about its massive size is that its virtual keyboard is likewise huge and therefore actually useful. You can actually write documents on it. One downside to the Galaxy Note Pro's size, however, is that with a device this large and thankfully thin, you can actually feel some flex when using it. While this isn't really a problem or a deal breaker, it makes you wonder about the overall build quality of this device. So we immediately went out and purchased a book cover for our unit, something we highly recommend for anyone interested in this tablet. For obvious reasons, people are gonna compare the Galaxy Note Pro to the iPad Air. And in many ways, there is no comparison. I see these two devices as serving entirely different needs. For instance, when I travel for work, I typically bring along my iPhone, my iPad mini, and my Lenovo Yoga, simply because I like the convenience of the tablet at airports and on airplanes. But once I'm at my destination, I also need the functionality of an actual computer. The iPad just can't do everything that I need to do. That said, on my next trip, I'm gonna leave the iPad and Lenovo Yoga at home and just bring the Galaxy Note Pro. With this micro SD slot and Photoshop Express, I can manipulate images and upload them to TechRadar's image server. And also, thanks to the size of the virtual keyboard and Google's quick office, I can easily create and modify documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. Simply put, if you're in the market for an elegant solution that isn't quite an Ultrabook, but is a bit more versatile than your standard tablet, I suggest heading to your local store and actually spending around 30 minutes with the Galaxy Note Pro. You might be surprised at how much you like it. I'm Will O'Neill, Editor-in-Chief of Tech Radar, and for the full skinny on the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro, be sure to read our comprehensive review.